Well, after losing the last two years to Michigan and having the game canceled in 2020, Buckeyes are eager for a win over their rivals. It'll be the fifth time since 1935 that two teams will meet with undefeated records for the second year in a row. Now, Ohio State has been focused on this game all season long and believe the preparation this week will pay off on Saturday and heal those recent wounds. You know, there's, there's guys with, with scars, you know, and, you know, I'm one of them. And, and so it just drives you every day uh, to work harder and to make sure you do everything you possibly can to win the game. I'm very emotional. You know, I'm, not try I'm trying not to get out of character, but this game mean means a lot for us, and we're going to get it done for the state of Ohio. I think we all go in there and debate in the locker room who has the best class, I think um, who's the best team. And um, probably number one, no, number one question you have to ask is, did you beat the team North? I think it always starts there. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of the, um, the point where, you know, you kind of have to, uh, decide. That's a deciding factor, I would say, on you know, where your class ranks as far as legacy-wise. Saturday will be OSU's sixth road game of the season, including tough environments in both South Bend and Madison, Wisconsin, lending further credence to their battle-tested badge. We, we've talked about it multiple times. You kind of get to go into a, a place where you're unwelcome and kind of embrace that um, and be the villain of that area um, and just be able to you know, silence the crowd by making big plays or whatever the case may be. Um, playing on the road is pretty much the same approach year in and year out. Um, you got to be able to run the ball on the road. You got to be able to play tough. You got to be able to stop the run um, and score touchdowns in the red zone. So the recipe never really changes. Jim Harbaugh and Ryan Day were both college quarterbacks and this week both successfully evaded direct questions about their respect level for each other. I think, you know, with everything going on and the things you know that are out there, we just kind of stayed away from all the distractions we have, you know, and just focused on our team. And, and I think our guys have done a good job of it. You know, I think, um, you know, when you talk to our guys, you know, I've talked to them a couple times about, you know, what's going on this season and, and um, you know, going into the game. But you know, they're they're focused on this this game. They're focused on the season. They're focused on their preparation, and and we're just going to continue on that. Yeah, I respect them. I mean, it's hard to, to stand up here and say I don't respect a team who's 11-0, who's done um, some really good things in the past few years, and uh, they're, they're a really good team. Uh, so I think there's definitely a respect level there. I think um, we know that they're a good team, and I would say vice versa. So I think there's definitely a respect level there. You know, I, I, I trust in my coaches, we, and we, we watch a lot of film. We watch a lot of a lot of little details that can help us get an edge, and, you know, I trust it in their in their vision and their uh, – their mentalities that we can get it done. I'm not just doing it for myself, man. I'm doing it for my teammates. I'm doing it for my head coach. I'm doing it for our coaches. And I'm doing it for the state of Ohio. And um, we don't want to let them down.